All right, so this video is basically how to adjust a power seat when the when the motor is gone or when the switch control is gone. And I did a video on repairing or testing the um, power seat control module, and uh, I'll link to that right here. And in that video, I started talking about I was going to use this quarter inch ratchet in this uh, square bit here, and that was working just fine. Uh, but it's just taking so long so you can see this is the uh, flexible shaft that came out of the motor assembly out of the drive mechanism and uh, it's about the same size so if you don't have a drill uh, this works okay but it's just really slow so what I ended up doing uh, and I said I wasn't going to do it yesterday when I was working on this in my original video uh, is I'm just uh, I put that into the chuck and uh, put that into place Okay, and I showed this in the uh, video yesterday, but I'll just mention it again here, um, which way you need to go. Okay, so on the inside one, basically you need to spin this way if you want to move it forward. So on the inside, or the one closest to the console, you need to have your... Uh, drill in reverse. I don't know if you can see that moving or not. Okay, so then you got to do the other side. You don't want to do one side too much because it'll actually bind up. And on this side, you need to have it going forward because we're reversing directions. All right, let's see if we can get the seat to move here for you. And you can see it is moving. All right, so hopefully this video has been helpful. And then basically what I'm going to do is measure out the distance on each rail, here to here, here to the end, and make sure I get the uh, seat in there straight. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. This is an amendment to my uh, seat control video that I made yesterday. And this is just how to uh, adjust a seat when your control or your motor is gone using a uh, power drill. Thanks for watching.